Um, so I'm a little bit too excited about this video right now. I was just in the mood to film a video and I didn't really know what to do. So um, I went through my inbox and I um, saw that one thing that came up several times was the about me tag. And the first person who came to mind was Beauty Crush. And um, I know she did one. So um, I took the questions from hers because I don't know, I guess they were kind of interesting because I actually watched it all the way. So And it's funny because I'm wearing a British shirt today so I was like I'm so keeping this on for my video since I'm getting it from Beauty Crush and she's from England. So I'm gonna be looking down at my phone a lot but um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started right away. Yes I do have a middle name and no I will not say my middle name on YouTube because I don't like it. Right now I'm in fashion school, so I guess that doesn't really count because I like everything. <laughs> but um, back in middle school and high school and stuff, my favorite subjects were always like language arts and English classes. So um, like I said, I don't necessarily like to write. I prefer discussing. I talk so much. But um, if I have to do it, then I do it and I do it well. So definitely English and um, language arts, those kind of classes. My favorite drink, um, if you mean alcoholic, then definitely Patron, and um, for just general drinks, then water. I don't really drink juice or soda anyway, so um, I definitely have to go um, with water. My favorite song at the moment, it's really interesting actually, because um, I had the most amazing weekend in LA and that was kind of like our theme song to that weekend. So um, it's the Pitbull and Neil song, Give Me Everything. Pitbull actually really annoys me on that song. I always just fast forward to Neil, but yeah, I definitely love that song. I'm very big on that and um, I don't want to say the names just because I don't want anyone to steal my kids' names. Like I already have like names set for my kids, like if I have sons or daughters or whatever. The one thing I can say though is that all of them are going to be starting with a G. For those of you who don't know, my name is Jessica with a G. So um, my kids are definitely going to start with G's. I don't care who I have kids with. That's the one rule. Their names are going to start with a G. Every single one of them. <laughs> Currently, I don't really participate in any sports. The only thing I sort of do is yoga. Um, I did play sports growing up. I played a lot of sports, actually, but the main ones were um, tennis and um, dancing. That was like, I played tennis for like nine years, and I danced for like ever. But other than that, not really. I mean, I played a lot of other sports, too, but it was never anything consistent. Kite runner. Um, I read that book in, I think I was like in the 10th grade or something like that, and I had to read it for an English class. I ended up really, really falling in love with it. It's really an amazing book, and um, yeah, it's really good. They ended up actually making a movie about it, and I was so excited when it came out because I already knew the storyline and everything, so it was nice to be able to see um, what you read, you know, actually get put into a picture before your eyes. Like, it was amazing because exactly what I imagined in my head while reading the book is pretty much what was in the movie. So it was really cool. I always had the tendency to say purple just because that was my favorite color as a kid. But really, I don't really think that's my favorite color anymore. Um, I really like black and I love red and I like navy blue. So I would say like those are my favorite colors. I'm probably going to get like attacked for this, but I don't like animals. I'm not an animal person. I don't like animals at all whatsoever. So I mean if I had to, had to, had to pick, I would choose fish. I had fish um, growing up. I mean I had dogs and stuff too, but I just, I don't like them. So I would choose fish just because they're really pretty so I can just put them in a fish tank and look at them all day. Um, so yeah, sorry for the animal lovers, but yeah. My favorite perfume is definitely the Betsy Johnson perfume. I think I showed it to you guys in a haul. Let me see if I can grab it. This is my ultimate 
favorite, favorite perfume. So it's one, I, I don't know what, it doesn't really have a name, it's just Betsy Johnson. And it smells really, really good, and the smell just really goes well with me. I absolutely love it. So um, that's definitely my favorite perfume. My favorite holiday, I would say Christmas, but it's actually Halloween. Um, growing up, I got a lot of gifts and stuff around Christmas, so of course that was my favorite time of year. But um, lately, it's been kind of just whatever to me, and Halloween has really been what I look forward to and things like that. Um, I love dressing up. I love, you know, being able to dress up however you want for one night, and no one can judge you, no one can say anything, so I really like that. And of course, the candy. Who doesn't like candy? I have graduated high school. Um, I'm class of 2007 and proud, <laughs> so I'm currently in college and ready to finish. I have been out of the country. Um, how many times? Plenty of times. I can't really count, honestly. Um, I lived in Canada for a while uh, before living in California. I lived in Florida. I lived in Haiti. So, yeah, I've been out of the country plenty, plenty of times. Yes, I do. I speak French and I speak Creole. And I also understand Spanish. I don't really speak it anymore. But um, I speak French and Creole fluently and write them fluently also. I have one brother and I have two sisters who are not my sisters, but they are my sisters. It's way too complicated, so I won't even get into it. But let's just say I have three siblings. I have two. Um, older sisters and an older brother, so I am the baby. I don't really have a favorite store, to be honest. If I had to pick one store to go to, like if... I don't really know. I would probably say H&M, just because I could find a variety of stuff there. You know, you could find casual stuff, dressier stuff, accessories, handbags, shoes. You find everything you need there. So, um... I would say H&M, and it's affordable prices also, so I would definitely go with H&M. There's a restaurant called Pizza Garden. It's in Haiti, and they literally have the best pizza in the whole entire world. Like, if you were to see it, it wouldn't, it, it, it doesn't really look appealing, but the cheese is like so cheesy, and like, it's just, it's amazing. I don't know how to explain what it tastes like, but it's, literally the best pizza in the world. I think I'm going to Haiti this summer. So if I go to that restaurant, I'll definitely vlog and show you guys around. I'll probably look retarded doing it, but it's okay. I'll do it for you guys. Now I like school. Um, now that I'm actually studying something that I love and um, I don't like the whole studying and all of that aspect of school, but I actually do really like school. I never, I don't think I ever really hated school. I was never like a rebellious kid who was like, I'm not going, you know, I'd probably skip class here and there a few times, but I was never really a rebellious um, kid or whatever, so, um, well, I was rebellious, just not in that way, so, um, but yeah, I do like school. I would say my favorite YouTuber is Brittany M. Gray. I also um, like Beauty Crush, um, Andrea's Choice, and LaToya Forever. She's hilarious. She's actually one of the first people that I watched on YouTube. Andrea's Choice is amazing. She's gorgeous. And um, same thing for Beauty Crush. Like, she's very consistent with her videos, and I like that. She's a gorgeous, gorgeous girl, and she has a really, really sweet personality. But um, definitely, I would choose Brittany M. Gray as my favorite. Um, YouTuber. I feel like she's someone I'd be like friends with in real life. She reminds me so much of myself because she's just so like out there. Like she does not care. She says whatever she wants to say and I just love the fact that she's so bold, you know? My favorite movie I definitely have to go with Save the Last Dance and The Book of Eli. Those are two movies that like completely like I guess I could say changed my life or touched my life, I guess, in a way. Um, for Save the Last Dance, I went to watch it. I remember so clearly. I was still in middle school at the time. 
and um, I went with my two older sisters and usually they would never want to go to the movies with me because it was like the cool thing to do was like to go to the movies with like your clique you know so they never wanted to be seen with me at the movies and um, they finally allowed me to go with them and it was we were going to watch um, Save the Last Dance and like I said I've been dancing my whole life so um, I really fell in love with it and I just find there's no movie that will ever top that ever after that like forget it um, step up and all these things. No, Save the Last Dance is the authentic, real good thing for me. Even though they copied like Flash Dance or whatever, which I also love, but definitely Save the Last Dance is the one. Um, I also love the Book of Eli. That movie really, like, literally changed my life. Like, I watched it and I was just so. In I didn't really know what it was about before watching it, and I think that's what struck me the most. Um, but yeah, I definitely love it. Another movie that I have to put in there is Inception. I asked for one, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I loved Inception. I love movies like that where it kind of keeps you guessing. You know, The Book of Eli had no idea what's, what it was about, so it sort of kept me guessing. And when I finally figured out, like, what the true meaning of it was, it was just so, like, insane. Like, I was just really, really blown away. It's definitely a tight, tight, tight spot between 90210 and Gossip Girl. I really, really, really love those shows. Other than that, like, if I'm not watching one of those things, honestly, and my TV's on, it's on, like, Sports Center, and I'm just, just running highlights from basketball games and all sorts of other sports, so I don't really watch TV very much. I have a PC, so I'm going to have to go with PC. I've never really had any um, Mac products besides my iPod. I do want to switch over to a Mac soon. I have a Blackberry Bold, which is this one here. It has a pink cover on it, but that's what it looks like. I have a black Blackberry Bold. <laughs> a black Blackberry Bold. I am five foot seven and a half. I definitely love, love, love my height. I'm like not afraid to wear heels and I'm not afraid to work it. So I absolutely love my height. I have no problems with it. I definitely did when I was younger. I was kind of like, oh, like I'm too tall or whatever, but um, I've, I've learned to embrace it and I'm very happy with my height. So that concludes this tag video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys loved it. Um, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is twitter.com slash gscxo. I'll put a link right here. So go follow me and send me a little message. Let me know that you're one of my subscribers and I'll definitely follow back. And also follow my Tumblr if you guys have one. It's suckmypumps.tumblr.com. So same thing as this channel right now. And um, that is it. So thank you guys for watching. Mwah! I love you dolls. See you guys in the next video.